Привет, друзья, and welcome back to Portrait of Yaroslava. So, this is what I have from the last painting session, and today I'm gonna continue this first color layer. As you can see, there is no color yet, except for the face, which I did in part 1. So, this video will be about another blogging stage, this time in colors. So, the colors I'm using here are titanium white, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, ultramarine blue, and burnt amber. These are my default colors for painting portraitures. The medium I'm using here is the same as the amber sketch. I'm using white spirit from Winsor & Newton with a touch of liquid so the paint dries quicker. This is the liquid so let me mix the colors first. Okay so this is what I end up with. So let's start the painting right away. Right, so I'm gonna follow with the fat of Berlin rule here. If you don't know what it is, don't worry, it's not as hard as it sounds. It's just basically, if you're working with layers, you need to increase the amount of oil with every successful layer you've made. So since this is my first color layer, I just add a tiny bit of oil. In this case, liquid. Liquid is considered fat, by the way, but a tiny bit of liquid is fine. It should still be thin. I mix it with my mineral spirit in this small spoon. Let's just pray I don't forget and accidentally drink this. <laughs> and then I just kinda dip my brush before I pick my paint. It's like watercolor, it's just we're not using water, we use a mixture of mineral spirit and liquid. I won't add too much medium though, I'll add just enough medium so that my paint runs consistently. You can also use linseed oil, I use liquid because I want the painting to dry quicker. It is raining here, so the painting takes forever to dry. Just try to be consistent. If you use liquid, then don't change your plan, and then you use linseed oil in the next layer. I've never tried it before, I'm not sure if it can cause problems like cracking, so better to stick with one medium or the entire painting. But I'm not an expert here, see my channel only has less than 2k subscribers, <laughs> that's why you guys need to subscribe, so that I can become an expert. So back to the painting, I start off the painting from the hair, and in this painting, I work from dark to light. This is very common, so I want the dark to sit behind the light. I don't use black paint. I use a mixture of burnt amber and ultramarine blue. Okay, and then I work towards the middle value there. It's mostly burnt amber with a bit of red and a touch of titanium white. And finally, my light value. And for those thin hair strands, I use 00 small brush. You can also check out my previous video where I talk about painting hair in real time. There is no highlight or deep shadow yet. That's for the next stage. The paint is very thin. And the edges are all soft. I blend all of the edges. Okay, so that's the hair, and now the background. As for the background, I want it to be creamy, with some blue in it. I'm just doing it roughly, sketching the placement of its colour. So right now, there is nothing there, except for my brown layer, called Imprimatura. I just want to put something, some colours. Basically, at this stage, I feel like, kind of, stating my intention. What do I want this painting to look like? What is my goal? The plan. That's very important guys. Don't start any painting if you don't have any plan in mind. After the background is done, I paint the clothes. As for the clothes, I want it to blend together with the background. So I use the same colour as the background. A bit of blue here and there. Also, I like bleeding the colours into each other the background against the clothes. 
This might seem like a crazy idea, but a crazy idea is better than nothing. Just pray the idea works. <laughs> also, this isn't the final painting. This is just the first color layer, the color sketch. Yes, I know it looks bad and messy. Everything is transparent, no solid colors, but this will be my crucial foundation. Before I move on to the next layer, where I will be meticulously painting those details and turn this into photo realism. So this is my first color layer completed, so you can clearly see my intention here. This area would be painterly, the background is creamy with the blue jolting up behind her. Of course the dark, as you can see right here, still looks transparent. You can clearly see my underpainting underneath it. The background is not as solid as I want it to be, but I think it looks great so far. What do you guys think? Don't forget to leave some comments down below, press the like and subscribe button and see you guys in the next video. That's good over.